let's say we just go for it. You know, go to the Pinewood Heights and uh, give Dr. Cliche a piece of our mind. Now, the entrance to the underwater lab is guarded by that tiger. You know, the annoying one who eats you up and all stuff like that. Well, there's a way around it. There's one ball he won't eat. Yeah, the pathetic ball. The ball with no redeeming value at all. The ball of being pathetic. And I wish there was a save point closer to it, but I guess it's a challenge after all. So down we go. Go pathetic ball, go. There's no save point other than that one where the pathetic ball can reach. Well, can reach this tiger guy. You can't jump high enough off of the other ones. See? You can't jump high enough there. Alright, let's do this. Tiger will not eat us. How about that? Face it, Tiger. You didn't hit the jackpot. Alright. Dr. Cliche's underwater lab, for which we have lasers. And flight ball. Nuts. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Come on. Helps to be able to fly here. Alright, if I am not mistaken. Alright, 7190. That looks like a code for something. So let's remember that. And here's a tip. There's a save point right here. Don't neglect it. Let's go with... Seven. I believe this will take us to seven. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Whoa! There's a method to my madness. At the bottom of these four paths, there are four platforms. And depending on the ball you use to hit them, that's what number they turn to. So we need to use the seventh ball coming up here. Whoa. That would have been a good time to drop. Whoa. Ah! Let me try and get that platform in the middle next time. Oh my, this is gonna take a while. Way more than 10 minutes. Okay. Let's go with right now. Ha! Yes! Go Speed Racer, go! Seven. Um, I believe the next one is one, but we're gonna verify this. Yeah, next one is one. That's not one. This is one. Oh, I don't like this puzzle. Whoa. It took me... How many tries last time I did this? A lot. Whoa! Yeep. Okay, I can't believe I got this on what seems like the first try. That's normally really hard. Well, it'll be hard when you try it. Yeah, I know a bunch of you are going to give it a try. Uh, and I feel sorry for you, because it's really hard, but it's a really fun game. And I hope you do try it. It's not enough to watch it. Playing it is the thing. Alright. This could be a lot harder. Fortunately, for what we're doing right now, we're using ball number 9. Which is actually... relatively good. Okay. Let's not careen into that fireball. That leaves the plate ball for the last one. Whoa. Okay. Not too high. Not 
too high or the game does that to you. Like that! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my. The worst part about this is coming all the way back around. You have to come all the way back around. Oh. No, wait, the worst part of this is right here. Oh, game, why are you so brutal to me? Oh well, music's kind of catchy. Ah! Alright, we need to get around these lasers. The only way I know how. Like that. Please tell me it doesn't go all the way to this edge. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. All right. Yes! I smell victory, folks. I smell victory. It smells vaguely of detergent. That nice detergent I really like. All right. Looks like something's happened. So, we're gonna equip the flight ball, try and get back to that place where we were without dying. Should be doable. Ha! Ah! See? Alright, no problem. I think we're gonna kick it old school for this one. Ball number one deserves the final press. And you know what? We could probably make it through the ending right now, but let's save it for next time. What do you say? Until next time, folks, when we beat Within a Deep Forest. Good night.